Hi, hello. Welcome back to Max Ninjas. Myself, Femi Bijan. Today we are dealing with exercise 6.2, question number 2, standard 8. Today we have to find out Pythagorean triplets whose one number is 6. We have 4 questions. So we can discuss one by one. Do you remember what are Pythagorean triplets? 2m m square plus 1 and m square minus 1. These are Pythagorean triplets. They have given that one number is 6. Sometimes 2m may be 6. Sometimes m square plus 1 may be 6. Sometimes m square minus these three are equal to signs. m square minus 1 may be 6. First check that m square minus 1 is 6. See, m square minus 1 is 6 means m square equal to 6 plus 1 equal to 7. Then m won't be a natural number. We should get m such that it should be greater than 1 and it should be a natural number. Here m won't be a natural number. So this won't be correct. m square minus 1 won't be 6. Next check that m square plus 1. Will it be 6? If m square plus 1 is 6 means m square equal to 6 minus 1 equal to 5. In this case too m won't be a natural number. Next we are going to check that 2m equal to 6. Then m will be 6 by 2 equal to 3. m square plus 1 equal to m is 3. So 3 square plus 1 equal to 9 plus 1 equal to 10. Then other Pythagorean triplet is 10. Then to find next Pythagorean triplet m square minus 1 equal to m is 3 so 3 square minus 1 equal to 9 minus 1 equal to 8. So our Pythagorean triplets are don't write the value of m we should write the value of 2m m square plus 1 and m square minus 1. So you should rewrite all these three values. Put it in a bracket. 6, 10, 8. These three are the Pythagorean triplets. Coming back to question number 2. One number is 14. Our Pythagorean triplets are 2m, m square plus 1 and m square minus 1. Sometimes 2m may be 14. If 2m equal to 14, otherwise m square plus 1 is 14. Otherwise m square minus 1 is 14. If m square minus 1 is 14 means m square equal to 14 plus 1 equal to 15. Then the value of m won't be a natural number. So definitely we can avoid this. Then m square plus 1 is 14 means m square equal to 14 minus 1 equal to 30. Again we can neglect this because m won't be a natural number. In this case 2m is 14. Then m equal to 14 divided by 2 equal to 7. So we got a natural number and it is greater than 1. So the value of m is 7. Next we are going to find out the Pythagorean triplets. 2m is 14 and substitute the value of m in these m square plus 1 that is 7 square plus 1 equal to 49 plus 1 equal to 50. Then we got one more Pythagorean triplet. Then m square minus 1 that is 7 square minus 1 49 minus 1 that is 48. 
डोंट राइट द वैल्यू ऑफ यम इन केस ऑफ पाइथागोरियन ट्रिपलेट्स पाइथागोरियन ट्रिपलेट्स आर टू यम यम स्क्वायर प्लस वन एंड यम स्क्वायर माइनस वन सो री राइट द वैल्यू ऑफ टू यम टू यम इज फोर्टीन कॉमा यम स्क्वायर प्लस वन इज फिफ्टी देन यम स्क्वायर माइनस वन इज फोर्टी एट दीज थ्री आर द पाइथोगोरियन ट्रिपलेट्स कमिंग बैक टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वन नंबर इज सिक्सटीन अगेन If टू एम इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन अदरवाइज एम स्क्वायर प्लस वन ईक्वल टू सिक्सटीन अदरवाइज एम स्क्वायर माइनस वन ईक्वल टू सिक्सटीन फर्स्ट चेक दैट इज एम स्क्वायर माइनस वन एस सिक्सटीन इफ एम स्क्वायर माइनस वन एस सिक्सटीन मीन्स एम स्क्वायर ईक्वल टू सिक्सटीन प्लस वन दैट इज सेवेंटी then m won't be a natural number so we can avoid this okay then if m square plus 1 is 16 means m square equal to 16 minus 1 equal to 15 then again m won't be a natural number so again i am going to skip this if 2m equal to 16 means m equal to 16 divided by 2 equal to 8 Now we got a natural number for the value of m. So 2m equal to 16. Then what will be the value of m square plus 1 if m is 8? That is 8 square plus 1. That is 64 plus 1 equal to 65. Then other Pythagorean triplet is 65. Then m square minus 1. That is eight square minus one, sixty-four minus one. That is sixty-three. Now we got all the three Pythagorean triplets. Rewrite all these three Pythagorean triplets inside a bracket. Value of two m. That is sixteen. The next one sixty-five. Then the last one sixty-three. these three are the pythagorean triplets again coming back to fourth one one pythagorean triplet is 18 sometimes 2m equal to 18 otherwise m square plus 1 equal to 18 otherwise m square minus 1 equal to 18 if m square minus 1 is 18 means m square equal to 90. In this case, m square equal to 70. In both the cases, m won't be a natural number. And in this case, m equal to 18 divided by 2 equal to 9. So here we got the value of m, and it is greater than 1, and it is a natural number 2. Then m square plus 1. Substitute the value of m. That is nine square minus plus one equal to eighty one plus one equal to eighty two. Here nine square minus one that is eighty one minus one that is eighty. So we got other three Pythagorean triplets. They are write the value of two m eighty. Write the value of m square plus one. That is eighty two. Value of m square minus one. That is. I hope you enjoyed my class. If you have any doubt about this, please ask to me through comment box. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe and support me. Signing off, Amy Bijoy from Max Ninjas.